Hello everyone, and welcome to the latest Minty Reacts, and we are here for the next episode of The Legend of Korra, Book 2, Spirit, Episode Number 2, The Southern Lights. Episode 1 was a bit weird. <laughs> episode 1, I will admit, was a little, little weird going from the goodness of Season 1 to whatever they're doing now. I'm intrigued with the story, though. I'm intrigued with what's going on with the spirits and Korra learning her spirit training to you know, fully become the Avatar. But there's some character stuff that I'm a little iffy about that I am hoping gets better as the season progresses. But we'll we'll see. We'll see. But I don't want to be negative here. I don't want to be negative, like, too much or anything. I just want to kind of get into it. So let's just get into it, shall we? Let's uh, just get into it. Also, Aubrey Plaza is in the show now. I like Aubrey Plaza. She's cool. Anyway, let's get into the show now. So in three, two, one, let's get going. Okay, we keep getting more spirits, so... Clearly there's some spirit stuff going on. Spirit fighting. I'm not here to teach you to fight spirits. I'm here to help you begin your spiritual training. Yeah, big difference. Big difference. The spirits, the people of the South, have brought darkness upon themselves. Yeah, it makes sense. And that now it sense. threatens to destroy our tribe. We must set things right. Yeah, that all makes sense. That That's kind of the big deal with spirit training here. Anything you need? Water? Dandelion greens? Ah, perhaps you'd like to recenter yourself by meditating in the gardens. Though all those things sound great. They all sound wonderful. This just for you. Oh. Nice. Okay. And Pella, nice. These flowers once filled the mountainside. My God, that's a lot of flowers. That gift is mine. You don't no, even like no. to read. The kids. Nah. Yep, those are the world's next generation of airbenders. Yep. Yes, they are. Hey, Yep. Yep. That's that's the kids, all right. Children, the world is filled with more airbenders. We're no. not airbenders. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like I'm sorry. I'm not going to help you then. Okay. Weird, but yeah. That okay. Yeah. The Southern Air Temple has definitely changed a bit since it was empty. <laughs> For a safe trip. Thanks, Captain Expedition. But I'll be fine. A snowmobile. What? Are a distraction to Korra and a hindrance to what needs to be done. My daughter is not going without what? me. She needs someone what? to watch after her. Dad. She she's gonna have what? What is what is the deal with her dad? Like your father, who have put the spirit world out of balance. He's ignored my warnings in the past and hasn't learned since. Again, I don't disagree. I'm coming. Unless you think you can stop me. Okay, we got some definite brotherly rivalry here between these two. But also, it's like, did her dad not have any issues with her going to Republic City by herself, basically? What? Five in this thing for like, like a month. Who wants some freeze-dried cucumber quads? Ooh. Nobody? Did I interrupt a conversation? Yeah, a little bit. You did. You did. It's okay, Bowen. It's okay. Does this sidecar have the capacity for two passengers? Sure does. But, uh, who's gonna drive? <laughs> all right all this stuff of bowen's funny uh, i'll say that that's all funny evil spirits there is hmm. light and dark in them all but when they're unbalanced hmm. the darkness well, takes over that's a it's a big storm that's when the spirit world and the physical world are close together okay only yeah, then makes sense. can the avatar open the portal the winter solstice is tomorrow well time to learn yeah it's like well Cora, time to learn how to how to do some spirit stuff real quick Spirits. Spirits becoming. Spirits. Okay, that means you got to hurry. You need to learn your stuff and you need to open this portal or close the portal, whatever you want to do. Whatever you need to do. Do the stuff with the portal. Can not talk about dark spirits, please? My brother doesn't like ghost stories. Don't worry. I will protect you, my feeble turtle duck. <laughs> Haven't you ever wondered how your father hmm. ended up in the South Pole? Why he's never taken you to visit his homeland in the North? Not really. We just also really just kind of met him, so no. Told me what? Yeah, what's going on with him? I left what's the going North on? Pole because I was banished. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Okay, cool. What'd you do? H how'd you anger the spirits that badly in the North, my guy? You were banished from the North? Why? Because I almost destroyed the entire tribe. Oh, fun! Lovely. Mm. Who's attacking you? 
Yeah, what was going on? Who was attacking you? And also, what did you do? Hmm. That's a little spot of greenery in the, you know, frozen wastes. To spirits. It probably the barbarians is. Barbarians retreated there because they thought we wouldn't attack on such hallowed grounds. And you did anyway. Okay. They yeah. Wrong. So you anger the spirits by attacking in a spiritual wood. Yeah, it sounds about right. We captured the barbarians. But, but you the flooded process, the... We destroyed wow. The forest. Wow, dude. Wow. Yeah, I see why you're banished now. You you destroyed a spiritual landmark. By destroying the forest. I unknowingly let loose angry spirits. Yeah, that was your own fault, dude. Yeah, that, that actually was your whole fault. I think your brother was there. Well, that's some, that's some definitely good spirit bending. You all tell me in the comments if it's actually called spirit bending this time. But by then, the damage had been done. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, this, the, uh, that was just all Cora's dad's fault. <laughs> in the cause of so much devastation, my father banished me from the Northern Water Tribe in shame. Reasonable. <laughs> Honestly, a reasonable thing to do. That's when I came to the South and started a new life. Or I'm just going to ignore the spirits even more, <laughs> even though I saw what they did. Then he became chief. No wonder you guys don't like each other. Ow, what? Isn't that what happened? I, I mean, Bolin just saying the truth in. Why do you keep hiding things from me and then telling me it's for my own protection? I'm tired of you protecting me. She's got a point. She, she's she got a massive point there. Like, it goes back to just being honest. Just be honest with everyone. Yeah, her dad's kind of, uh, not the best, it would appear. What are they doing? You can't catch me! I'm the greatest air skier of all time! Oh my god. Oh my god, they broke a statue. This is why I hate Milo. This is why I hate Milo. He just broke an ancient statue. Dedicated to an avatar. Oh, is she seeing things? Is she feeling things? Is she going through some things? Cora, you have every right to be mad at me. Yeah, she does. And we shouldn't be going to the South Pole now. Spirit and the physical world should remain separate. No, no, that's com no. I finally have a chance to live up to my potential. You yeah. Don't even know if what Unalak says is true. Dude, what are you talking about? Be lights in the south as well. But during the Hundred Year War, the South was thrown out of balance. Yeah. The lights know. disappeared. When the yeah, 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 yeah. The spirits no longer dance in your skies. Instead, they rampage in the Everstorm. I think we're here. Yeah, that all makes perfect sense. Listen to him. Don't listen to your dad who willingly went into a spirit forest, destroyed it, and was like, Oh no, what about the spirits are attacking now? I don't know what's going on. We should just keep them separate. No! I will say, all the spirit stuff, though, is very cool. This is all is very, very is? cool. We must keep moving. And I really like Unalak. Unalak is a good character so far. I'm going to hate when he turns out to be a bad guy, because this is just, just going to happen at this point. Like, I... I shouldn't be surprised if that happens. Cora, look out! Yes, because fighting the spirits is a good idea. Okay, okay, she's... Oh, she... Oh, she was almost getting it. She was almost getting it. She hasn't actually learned it yet, but she she was getting there. She, she started kind of doing it. Is everyone okay? Yeah, but was not. I can't stop it! I'll save you. <laughs> okay. Okay, they're cool. They're cool. Yeah. They're they're very cool. Someone please deflate me. Nice. Good job. Good job. Thank you. How oh, great. But can they can can he reinflate now? That's the question. Tonight, we're so close. This mission is too dangerous. We're leaving. No, Dad. You're leaving. Yeah, clearly the spirits are mad at you for attacking them earlier in your life. I don't know, I would say listen to the wishes of the Avatar and your daughter and your brother who actually understands what's going on. In the right direction. We don't have much time. Then what are we waiting for? 
Now, if somehow her dad is actually completely right in all of this situation, I'm going to be shocked. I, I will be very shocked given how the rest of this series has played out, including Atla. So we all just want to help however we can. You have to trust that we're here for you. Cora does have some major trust issues still. Like, it's kind of understandable given, given you know, the Amon situation and everything with her dad so far, but... You must find your way to the heart of the forest where the dormant spirit portal lies. From here, you're on your own. Oh no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. In fact, it seems like they hate me. You have to believe in yourself. Like I believe in you. Mm -hmm. It's about faith, Cora. It's about faith. On inside of you. Let them guide you. Let them help you find the light in the dark. All of that's completely fair, and what the avatars should be doing. Like, use your previous lives to help you out. Good luck. Yeah, her whole deal right now is just about trust. It's about, you know, people trusting her and her trusting other people. That's, that's kind of a big deal. She's, she's just so far from right now. We've seen a lot of trust issues with her mainly with her dad, so, like, it's understandable her having these trust issues. But she's got to learn how to trust herself and her abilities and her previous selves. That's a spirit snake. Spirit snakes, my bad, there are multiples of them. There are two snakes. Try to bring peace to them, Cora, try to bring peace to them. Or, or just do that. That, that, that. I guess that works too. Amazing. These are all very cool visuals, though, I will say. There's some cool, cool visuals. <gasps> what avatar is this? Oh, huh. Yeah, what avatar was that? Though it did kind of look like Korra, so is it Korra? I don't think... I don't think attacking is going to work, Korra. I think you got to do something else. Yeah, attacking the spirit portal is not going to help. You got to you got to connect with it, Korra. Korra, don't fight it. Don't fight it, Korra. Let let the let the other avatars teach you what to do here. There we go. Again, not fighting it. You have to connect with it. Now, if that worked, I don't know. We'll see. Dancing in the sky. Huh. What is the statue of, though? Interesting. She did it. Oh, now you actually believe in her, dude? Really? It's a beautiful looking forward to why are you initiating physical contact with another woman? <laughs> uh, Bolin's got a lot of fans to do. Bringing balance back to the south. Good. And good. soon the whole world. That's good. She's on a good path now. She's on, she's on a good path. It's hard being the Avatar. It's harder being the Avatar's boyfriend. Hey, oh. No, I think, I think it is hard just being the Avatar. <laughs> just in general. Okay, there's gotta be more of this though, because that seems to have been resolved real easily. Huh? What's what is all this? Step in getting the Southern Water Tribe back on its righteous path. There's more difficult work to be done before our two tribes are truly united. What are you doing, dude? Okay, is he just actually a bad guy then? Is is he actually just a bad guy? Cause like I'm getting I'm getting bad guy energy now from him, like major bad guy energy from him, since he's appear apparently is um, trying to take over the Southern Water Tribe. Now I'm just confused. <laughs> now I'm just very confused. That was cool though. Okay, let's, let's break it down into the, the positive stuff here. So like, again, all the spirit world stuff, all the stuff dealing with spirits and, you know, Korra going through her spirit training all makes sense because she needs to do that. Like... Hell, just to compare it to Aang, Aang also had to go through some spirit training as well with the Guru. 
it all made sense. He didn't fully complete it, but he got close enough. He, he was able to figure it out. So, you know, Aang was able to do the spirit train with the guru. So that all worked. So Korra needs to do the same thing. You know, she, she needs to learn the spirit training as well. She needs to learn how to commune, how to deal with the spirits, how to communicate with them, how to talk to them, how to, how, you know, bring balance between them, because that is what the Avatar does so that all makes sense so you know opening up the spirit portal with the southern water tribe you know bringing back the light you know bringing peace of the spirit to the southern water tribe that all makes sense that all makes total sense also it makes sense the fact that her dad has an issue with the spirits because he was kind of an idiot and attacked a spirit ground and then was attacked by spirits and was like oh no i wonder what happened you you mess with the spirits they were like we're gonna fight you we've again we've seen this in atla this happened before like with the panda spirit like you know when when the when the fire nation burned down that forest the panda spirit came and attacked it kept attacking the village because it's like it's the closest thing we have here you all aren't doing anything so i had to go fix that so that all makes sense you know her dad having angered the spirits and then the spirits coming and attacking the southern water tribe that all makes sense i don't understand Unalak here unless Unalak is just a bad guy who is trying to just completely take over the water tribe but he's already the head of the northern water tribe and if he's just trying to bridge the the gap between the two of them bring him into one united tribe then what's with the militaristic occupation here <laughs> like what are you doing so that's all confusing and then we get into the Tenzin air temple stuff with um with his kid I forgot her name I only know Milo because I don't like him I forgot her name. Um, Chiyu, I think her name is? Whatever. You'll tell me in the comments. Thank you for telling me in the comments. I forgot her name. But she's dealing with some stuff here. Clearly, she has some connection to the Avatar spirit world or something like that because something was calling to her in the in the, uh, the statue chamber. Something was calling to her there at the end from her sleep, which I believe was the statue of Korra, maybe. Uh, like some type of like spiritual statue of Korra, possibly. It might be something completely else, but it looked kind of like Korra, but it's a rough statue. And who knows? So Kalis, she has something going on in the spirit world too, in the, in the spirits, but like, what is going on there? It's a lot of interesting stuff happening here. And like I also mentioned in the episode, like Korra has, uh, it seems like her whole arc here is dealing with trust and trust issues and people trusting her and her trusting people, which understandable for what they're saying in this season, but she didn't have those issues in season one necessarily. She had like a little bit of some issues with Tenzin, but they weren't really trust issues. They were more like teaching issues. And Amon never was like a person that she trusted because he's a bad guy. She never really trusted Tarlock at all. So like, it's understandable for her, for her having these trust issues dealing with her dad and now dealing with Unalak as well. So it's like, those things are understandable, but they also kind of feel like they kind of came a little bit out of nowhere, which is weird, but I hope they kind of more explain those things, but like having a story arc, having a character arc of learning to trust is that that that's fine. That that that's understandable. That makes sense for a writing standpoint. It just it just feels like kind of nowhere, kind of a little bit out of nowhere for this. Also, the whole thing with Mako being her boyfriend, I don't I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. I'm not here for it. It kind of makes Mako less of a character to be honest, because he's not doing anything now. Bolin is just fully the comic relief character, which I, I'm I'm eh, it's okay. Like, it's fine. It's not as bad as, like, Milo being comic relief. Like, Bolin being comic relief is okay. Especially with him bouncing off of um, of Urza, I think her name is. Um, Aubrey Plaza's character. That's just funny. I do like that. That's just kind of funny. But this season feels disjointed. And it's only two episodes in. And it feels very disjointed so far. I'm not saying I don't like it. I'm just... It's just very disjointed. So, like I said, I have heard that, like, episode six-ish, it starts picking up and gets pretty good for the rest of the season after that it's just getting to episode six it's getting to the midway point of the season to you know that's the that's the issue it is feeling disconnected though it is feeling disconnected it's feeling a little bit scattered at what they're doing here but i am intrigued to see if they kind of write the ship again um and this is again not me downing on the series and not me being negative for the series it's me being critical for it and just saying what i'm thinking about it and like not not trying to be negative but trying to be critical like this this all feels weird this all feels very strange here compared to season one and atla but you know we'll 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 get to it we'll figure it out again i've heard the season's very divisive i've heard it's very very divisive but gotta get through it just to get to the rest of the season and we'll get through it we'll get through it we'll get through it let me know down in the comments below what you think about this episode and all the stuff going on as well uh the spirit world stuff i guess all the stuff with um cora's uh dad and uncle i guess just let me know what you think about this episode in general um keep it positive again like i said keep it positive and we can we can talk about stuff and 
and all that stuff in the comments below. And if you like this reaction, leave a like as well. It helps out as well and all the other good stuff. And if you want to see more from the channel and be here for the rest of the season, go ahead and subscribe as well. It will help out and it will get us uh, more on that journey to a thousand subscribers, which we are growing. We are steadily growing, slowly but surely, but we are growing. So thank you so much for that, for helping grow the channel. And if you want to see more from the channel, go ahead and watch this right over here. It's going to be a playlist of something else we can watch. Go ahead and watch that too. And over here is going to be a video that YouTube recommends for you as well. Until next time, just stay bending, everyone. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace, everyone. Peace.